Thank you. In reading this, you seem to be conceding that evacuation should have happened sooner and faster, saying we now prioritize earlier evacuations, noting that today you would message evacuations more aggressively. I understand you've made clear the president does not have any regrets about his decision to withdraw. But in hindsight, in reading this, does the president have any regrets about how this withdrawal was carried out? The president's very proud of the manner in which uh, the men and women of the military, the Foreign Service, the intelligence community, I went on and on and on, uh, conducted this, conducted this uh, withdrawal. But uh, look, I've been around operations my entire life, and there's not a single one uh, that, uh, that ever goes perfectly according to plan. Uh, uh, things happen. Sometimes enemies get a vote. Um, and, uh, and you always want to learn from that. Um, and one of the things that we learned, and I talked about it here in my opening statement as well, uh, is that uh, you got to, that, that balance of striking, when do, you, when do you pull out when a government is under threat, particularly a friendly government, um, uh, and do so in a way that doesn't undermine the very government you're trying to support, that's a tough balance to strike. And it's different in every single case. And as I said, we learned from Afghanistan, and we applied that lesson in Ukraine and Ethiopia, that being aggressive in the information space uh, and being willing to move a little sooner may be the best thing. But does he wish he had done things differently? The, the president, I think everything is laid out here in this document uh, about uh, the, main, the main takeaways, the main lessons that we learned. Um, and uh, again, the president's enormously proud of the men and women who conducted this withdrawal. And just one last thing. On the last page here, you note that the speed and ease with which the Taliban took control of Afghanistan suggests that there was no scenario except a permanent and significantly expanded U.S. military presence that would have changed the trajectory. I wonder, what is your message to the veterans, to the families of the fallen, who may read that and wonder, what was the point? The president said uh, many times uh, that uh, the, the mission that we originally were sent in to, to Afghanistan for was accomplished a long, long time ago. Remember, they were ordered in under President Bush uh, to avenge the 9-11 attacks and to go specifically after Osama bin Laden and al-Qaeda. And decimating and degrading al-Qaeda's capability in Afghanistan was a mission that we accomplished a long, long time ago. And over time, the president has talked about this, uh, the mission in Afghanistan morphed into something it wasn't intended to originally be. That doesn't, just because the mission changed over time under previous administrations and leadership and scenarios, doesn't mean that anybody who served in Afghanistan doesn't have something to be proud of, doesn't have, sorry, doesn't have service to this country that they can take with them the rest of their lives. Um, and feel honorable about it. Um, they, didn't, they didn't make those decisions. They signed up. They raised their right hand, all volunteers at a time of war, to say, yeah, put me in. I'm going to go fight. And some of them didn't make it back. And everybody that made it back made it back a little bit different than when they left. And the president and the first lady understand that and respect that. And they should know that they will always have the commitment of the commander-in-chief and the respect of the country for doing that.